A tiny version of one of Egypt's most famous historic carvings is the nation's latest and most adorable discovery, with archaeologists unearthing a miniature sphinx. The diminutive Roman era statue hails from the Dendera Temple complex in Cana. It may represent the Roman Emperor Claudius, in power from the year 41 to 54, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities announced in a statement. The Temple of Dendera is a large ceremonial complex covering an area of 9.8 acres. The complex is centered on the Hathor Temple, a sanctuary which has been modified on the same site since the Middle Kingdom until the time of the Roman Emperor Trajan. A team from Cairo's Ain Shams University, the first Egyptian-led archaeological mission at the site found the Sphinx in a two-level limestone shrine, inside a red brick and mortar water basin. Beneath it lay a Roman stela inscribed with hieroglyphics and demotic script. The statue has royal facial features and a soft smile with dimples, archaeologist Mamdo Aldamity, who led the excavations. The figure is wearing a striped cloth headdress known as a neems, featuring a stylized, upright cobra, or ureus, above the forehead. This traditional garb of the ancient Egyptian pharaohs was considered a symbol of royalty and divine authority. A mythological creature with a human head on a lion's body, and, in non-Egyptian representations, usually the wings of an eagle, a sphinx was considered a guardian figure. Ancient Greeks and Egyptians often erected statues of the fierce beast outside temples. The famous Great Sphinx of Giza, which measures 240 feet long, was built around 2500 BC believed to represent the Egyptian pharaoh Khafre, it is the nation's oldest monumental sculpture. The newly discovered Sphinx is on the site of the Temple of Dendera, erected during the Roman era in worship of the god Horus. The dig, which is still ongoing, began in February, with assistance from the National Institute for Astronomical and Geophysical Research. Excavation work has also included a magnetic scan and radar scan of the area surrounding the temple in front of the Isis Gate, with plans to continue the dig on the road connecting the Temple of Dendera and the Temple of Horus.